Censorship, it's a word we use a lot. And I want to talk about how censorship seems to be on the rise in our country at this time. Let's start with a definition. I looked up what is censorship. It's the process of censoring. Is that really helpful? OK, so what is censor? It means someone who is responsible for determining what is appropriate for people to see. Perhaps a moral guide of others, which would imply that people aren't moral enough to know what they should be sharing. And uh, this other one, this cryptic one, an ancient republic, either official to kept the register of census, and that's perhaps where the term comes from. Now, let's talk about what people think about censorship in the United States right now. I did this little research, and I found this website that talked about that Democrats are more likely than Republicans to approve of social media companies labeling posts from elected officials or ordinary users as misleading or inaccurate and sometimes ban it. And I noticed that there is a big diversity as to how people view this. It seems like people that are more democratically leaning are in much more support, perhaps half the electorate, are in favor of censorship of politicians. While in Republicans, you see a much different perspective. Like 10% of people feel that that's a good idea. I want to ask the question, do you all trust Big Brother to make decisions as what is appropriate for people to share on our medias? Do you trust those 15 billionaires to make their decisions as to what we should be watching and listening to? Personally, I think this is a threat to our democracy. If we start having a different party decide what is appropriate and inappropriate. Now I know we have issues with fake information being shared, and I think we all want to agree that things that are dangerous should be oppressed, and there was a law passed about 1995 about this, because they wanted to allow this new industry called the internet to be able to survive without litigation all the time from what other people do. And they passed this law that said they are protected from that. My question is, are they now abusing this law and do we need change? I want to talk about an article that just came out. Has anyone seen this article that came out from the New York Post? The story is that a laptop got dropped off at a computer store somehow that was water damaged. Maybe someone threw it in a river. We all hear about how Apple computers can survive all these things. It showed up. And the store owner got concerned because he noticed some stickers on it that were from Hunter Biden. And he looked around and poked in a little bit and he found some incriminating information. So he turned it over to the FBI, as the story goes, for safekeeping. He wanted to be the good citizen. And then he watched the impeachment trials that happened last year. He got upset. And he eventually contacted Giuliani and gave this backup of it to Robert Costello, who then turned it over to the Washington Post and has this incredibly damning article that came out about one of the presidential candidates. It's a big deal. Now, I am taking a class on Security Plus, and one of the questions was, is that someone finds a flash drive in the dumpster that has company proprietary information on it. It's a question. Flash drive. I threw it away. Did check what's on it. Did this really happen? What you want to know? as a citizen of the country. Is it really true? Can we not just let it play out in the media? Can we have people look at this educationally, find out, is this really true or not? We've all seen the tabloids in the grocery store. Haven't you seen those? And sometimes you smile and say, really? We don't ban those, do we? But what did Twitter do on this? Let's see what Twitter decided to do on this. First, they won't let the New York Post tweet until they, it agrees to behave itself Wait a minute, this stuff's real? Aren't they doing the responsible thing? Do we really know? Facebook, Twitter are restricting the disputed New York Post policy. They actually started deleting it. They started blocking people that shared it. Not only blocking the information, but punishing the person that shared it. 
They locked out the Trump campaign's account for sharing this information. They also locked out the uh, Kaylee McInerney, who is the who works for the White House with their public relations, from it. And even this name, the lady named Donna uh, Leach, was blocked as well. This seems kind of draconian to me, doesn't it? And when I was preparing this speech, I remembered this video that I saw. I want to play it for you real quick. It's only about 30 seconds. Censorship is a threat to our democracy when we allow Big Brother to decide what we should and should not see. These are scary times. And as we come towards Election Day, you might think about censorship as you make your decisions. 